and welcome back to another seminar sessions, the series where we make car care easy. Today we're going to look at engine bay. Everything that's involved with cleaning the engine bay, dressing it and getting it looking as good as new. It's nice and simple, there's not many products that you need. Engine clean, obviously. Engine dressing, obviously heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. So what we're going to do to get rid of the grime and dirt around the engine bay, we're going to use the engine clean, agitated with a brush for those bits, then for scuttle panel, bond, uh, underneath the bonnet we use the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner, and then last but not least we'll come on to do the dressing to get the plastic looking, the, looking the best. First and foremost you need to wet the engine bay down, the engine needs to be cool to the touch, so not hot, not cold, park in the shade, get everything wet and then spray the product on. Now a, a hot topic uh, for engine bays is the electrical components, some engines are different to others, this is a reasonably modern bay so it's full of plastics, there are some uh, plugs but they need to be cleaned as well, it's quite dirty, so we're not going to tape those up today, some people may choose to want to do that, if you've got exposed electrics just put um, a sandwich bag over them, tape it up and you're good to go. So this is a foaming product, so now that the engine bay is wet, just apply it liberally across everything. Once you've covered all the areas you want to be cleaned, just allow it 30 seconds to dwell. That starts the cleaners to agitate any heavy grime. I'm going to use a brush for the keener eyes out there. This used to be called the slide lock brush. It's now called the interior brush, but you can use it for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, just to agitate any areas that might need it. So it's important not to let this product uh, dry onto the surface, so once you've allowed it to dwell and work the brush in if you need it to, just go ahead and rinse it straight off. So before you dry the engine off, I set about with a heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner, because we're going to just clean all the extras that aren't really part of the engine bay. So the scuttle panel, the get all on the bonnet. So now we've done the whole of the engine bay, engine bay itself and accessories all around it. We're going to give it a dry down, then we can apply the dressing. So now it's dry, nice and simple. Spray the dressing across all the areas that you want to be protected. Wipe it down with a Mark Fiber towel. So obviously you saw me just spray it all over the engine bay, there's some nooks and crannies that this doesn't get into, so for that just spray it onto the towel and you can work into those bits that the spray perhaps missed. So the great thing about this product, not only does it give you a dressing, it also protects the plastics from cracking. Obviously there's a lot of heat uh, going on in the engine bay and this will uh, help to maintain them looking as fresh as possible. So 
as a recap, we've now cleaned and dressed the engine bag. We use the engine clean, engine dressing for the plastic areas, and then for everything around like the bonnet and shuts, we've used the heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. Agitated it with the ironically called interior and dash trim brush, but that's what is known as, old, uh, used to be known as the slide lock brush. And 280,000 miles the old workhorse has done, and I don't think you'll really tell much of a difference. Thanks for joining us. If you've liked the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. Uh, if you'd like anything else for seminar sessions to cover, drop that in the bottom in the comments, and hopefully we'll cover it next time.